Good morning. Tom Califf, CEO and co-founder of Solid State Marine Batteries. Coming at you from Newport, Rhode Island with one of our favorite customers here, Archie Contreras above Sailing Vessel Orin. Really excited to have you all here today. Gonna to check out very technical install that Archie and his crew have done aboard this uh, 80 foot Palmer Johnson. Really excited to bring you through it, introduce you to Archie. Hello, I'm Archie Contreras. I'm the captain for True North Sailing Excursions. And uh, first and foremost on our boat is safety. Uh, I found Tom and his great company, Solid State Marine, via social media. And these batteries are just excellent. And the main thing about them is safety, safety, safety. We don't have to worry any longer about any kind of overcharging issues. We don't have to worry about what temperature it charges at, especially below freezing in that, because these batteries charge at all the way to zero degrees F. Before solid state batteries, Orin had capacity for a total of eight 8D batteries. Well, we have now replaced those 8D batteries with four 24 volt solid state batteries. These batteries do have a capacity of 10.5 kilowatts each. While weight is not a factor on this boat, it is a factor on many boats. But when it comes to size to space, we have greatly reduced the amount of space needed to carry that capacity. And what that does, it enables us to run the boat for 24 hours with all the systems on. We run the generator possibly one or two hours a day to top up the batteries. So we've now cut our use generator use down by about 80%, which is great. Now our generator will have a long life, a much longer life, and uh, we have a better system with less batteries less wiring, better management, and we can also fully manage those batteries via our ship's computer. These batteries all communicate with a Victron Servo, and they communicate via CAN bus system of the batteries. We also have it set up in two separate banks, where we have two batteries in one bank and two batteries in a separate bank. They charge all at the same time, but if we want to disconnect one of the banks to do service, we can. We've been operating the system now for two months and the batteries have stayed in complete balance even though both banks are separated by 15 feet we have a perfect balance between all the batteries which is amazing and solid state batteries do have a function to where they work on balancing between the batteries they communicate between the batteries and work on balancing between each one of the batteries Doing a quick tour of Orin here Orin is built in 1991. She's a Palmer Johnson 80-foot uh, cutter rig sloop, custom-made originally for Gary Comer, the founder of Land's End. Uh, we're lucky enough now to be the custodians and operating Crew North Sailing excursions on it. Uh, she's got a nice flush deck and as you can see we've got all new rigging. While that may look like a spruce rig and a spruce boom, that's actually a carbon fiber rig, full rig and it's actually painted to look like a wooden spars. And here we are at the helm and the B&G system with uh, solid state marine with the CAN bus system, I can see everything that's happening in the batteries also on our B&G chart plotters uh, when we're underway, which is a nice feature when you're at the helm and not having to go down below. Orin has a great, gorgeous, spacious cockpit, as you can see. This is down below in Orin and to both port and starboard side, we have our aft cabins, and also each one of the cabins has its own head. Moving forward in Oran, we have our chart table area, which is a very unique chart table area, which we have both fore and aft layout. And we have our complete uh, ship system, our servo system, and this right here is right here we're seeing everything, all the communications we're having with the solid state marine batteries. This is giving us each one of the batteries and our voltages of complete state of charge on our batteries. Moving forward, Norm, we have the saloon. It's very spacious and uh, very, very gentlemanly with fine uh, furniture craftsmanship in here. Very nice, very large galley. We are all electric on the boat, which is very important with the solid state marine batteries because we do need a lot of power and we can run our complete electric induction cooktop just using our batteries. We can actually run on the boat with all electrical draw for 24 hours on our battery system. And 
very spacious accommodations. Some would say luxurious, I say very comfortable. Then moving forward, we have our forward master cabin, and we have our ship's cat, and that's actually the captain of the boat. What's captain, his name? Captain Stash, and uh, he's a very stern captain. <laughs> <laughs> this is our primary cabin for guests. Moving forward, we have our forward head, and then it has an ensuite shower. So here we have one of the batteries in the install. Uh, this is, again, 24 volt, 10.5 kilowatt hours of storage. This replaces basically three and a half AD batteries. We have it tied in with the CAN bus system, and then also the R848, 45 system. And this is communicating uh, with our servo and also with our computer, ship's computer. Each one of our batteries has its own remote switch, so we can control everything from the comms. The system we designed with both Solid State Marine and Crescent City Systems is a two 5,000 watt, 48 volt inverter chargers from Victron, two multiplus. And we've managed to shoehorn these in underneath the helm station. With both these units, we are putting out 5,000 watts of charge to the solid state marine batteries. We are a 230 volt boat. We are not a US 110, 220 volt system. We're a 230 volt system, which is very unique, uh, but which is better because we use smaller wiring and it's uh, also safer. And safety is first with us. You have full access to all the information in your batteries. As you can see here on the screen, we're looking at, right now we're looking at battery one. If I can switch it down to battery two. Now we're looking at all the information on battery two, all the information on battery three, so on and so forth. We have them all in parallel. And here is this the summary sheet where we can see all the systems and how they're working, the voltages. Right now we have 28.9, 28.9, 28.9, 28.9 on each one of the batteries. We can see all our parameters and how the battery is set up. All the information is here. And you can configure it to other systems. We use Victron, uh, but if you use Masterbolt, you can also have it talk to Masterbolt. Uh, there's several uh, conventions that you can have the system talk to so that you can monitor the batteries fully. Here on True North Sailing Excursions, right now we're concentrating on the Northeast area. So we're doing three to five day charters out to Nantucket, Martha's Vineyard, Block Island, Provincetown, and north of that. These are custom made charters. You can decide where you'd like to go. So at this point in time, we're concentrating on the Northeast out of Newport. Uh, moving to the future, we will actually be going offshore in subsequent years and going down to Bermuda and the Caribbean. You can reach out to us via tnsailing.com and you can uh, send us an email through that and we'll start putting up our charter uh, schedule for next season there. We can book through there and also do a custom chartering plan for you.